Not in the shed today, am I? No, I'm at the beach. Tell you why, every new year I come and dig a hole on this beach and last year I dug one 10 foot down and still didn't hit water. So, I've got a plan. Let's make a beach hut with subterranean levels. Yes, it's gonna be a lot of digging, but it's all right, I've got Rick with me. Let's get cracking. Right, first stage, I'm digging a four foot square hole and then we're just gonna dig straight down and then to stop the walls all caving in, we've made some plywood boxes and we'll gently try and slide them down. And then what happens after that, we don't really know. So just trying to get this to uh, slide in because the uh, the plan I had in my head of literally just slotting it in, uh, it's not gone quite as smoothly as that. But it's all right because it's sand. We'll just drag it out from underneath and then just get it to kind of shuffle its way down, which which was the plan. Issue we've got at the moment bowing a little bit on the site as I will show you with my clever zoom in. Yeah, can you see that? In fact, it probably doesn't happen. I've got a fish eye lens on. In fact, it's making it look straight. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are we going to do about that? Nothing. I don't think there's anything we can do about it. I've got a plan. Well, we always knew this would be a bit of a learning process, and it is. It appears we can't dig it and push it down as we go because obviously the friction's building up on the walls and we just can't move it and if we start jumping around on it the walls start like funneling in from the side and filling the hole back in again. So plan D potentially we're just going to dig a four foot square now because the sand doesn't collapse quite so much down here because it's a lot more wetter and then fingers crossed if Rick doesn't fill it in from above. Um, <laughs> Fingers crossed, we can then like kind of bring the walls down and build the boxes in the hole. We'll see. It's tricky. It's getting tricky. But we've got at least one underground floor, but we want more than that. So, still more digging to do. <laughs> getting deeper. Right, I've had a bit of a collapse, literally just as we were going to slot the sides down. So I think we'll do this back one first to stop that one going and, uh, and then hope and pray that that doesn't happen again. A bit more digging to do. We've got a shift to change, so now it comes a tricky bit. You're getting out. Can't get out. Yeah. <laughs> now what are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, Colin. I don't know what beach looked like a fat bird. Uh, uh. No, I don't move the time lapse. Two walls collapsed. We've got this one and this one still intact. Nearly got this bit of ply in place. I'm just carefully scratching the sand that's in the way out of the way. And then hopefully I can drag it out from underneath. We can push it back and then we can screw it up and that's that one safe and then start trying to do the same thing on the others. Oh! 
Oh, this is not as easy as I thought it were going to be. Ha! I think I scraped a bit too much out, and now we've got three of the four walls have collapsed on us. But we will not give up. Right in Simo. Get in here and dig this hole. <laughs> <laughs> Whole progress. We've got two sides up down here, so we now call this the safe zone. And then we've got down here, which is because uh, potentially still all collapsed. That's the not so safe zone. So get all this dug out, try and get some more bits of ply and shore it up. Yep, more digging. I tell you, Woot, it never been a hole dug in an eye. I knew digging this hole would be hard work, but I kind of thought with the plywood around the edges, it'd be a little bit easier. If anything, it's overcomplicated it really. But they are. Hey man, I will have these silly ideas, won't I? You will, Colin, are oh, you burying your gloves? Yeah, this finely, precisionly measured wooden box we've made, it's gonna look like it's got a bit of substance issues. Sub, sub, substance, sub, sub, subsidiary. Shut up. Right, come on. Ah, you. This guy. This guy. We're fighting a bit of a battle here. Ah. Imagined the all. Oh, why can they all be like that? Eh? Right, last one to do now. So a bit more shoveling, and then we're about done. We can put some floors in, then put the lid on. Carefully done. This this is tense. This is this is probably tense hole digging. Eh? There's no need to introduce any jeopardy here. This thing could collapse. Any minute. Here we are, second day. So yesterday, pretty much got the hole dug. We had a little bit of issues of it keep collapsing and trying to get the bits of wood in, but you know, that's the challenge. Uh, this morning, got a little bit of sand to take out the bottom because we had another side bust in as we were trying to fix the floor in. So get that in, get the floors in, get the top on, paint it. And what a lovely day! One last gaze at yesterday For the haze, the sun is on its way oh, We've got a complete box. This took a bit longer than we thought it would do. Uh, there's not a square edge on the thing, it's like the uh, house that the Simpsons built for Ned Flanders. But anyway, next job, put the first floor down, which is gonna be an equally as difficult a task, and then stick the top on, stick the lid on, decorate. Right, it's beach up time. It's got the base done, all the floors are down, make it into a little sheddy thing like you see at the sea. Decorate. Yep. Structurally done. All that's left to do now is decorate it and make it fit for the seaside. Now, when it's finished, the link to that will be in the outro. 
and then I can take you for a little tour. But there we are, multi-storey beach hut nearly complete.